Okay, so what we have here is a concentrated photovoltaic system that uh, converts sunlight into electrical output and at the same time into thermal uh, output. And uh, the, the system uses a big mirror like you have there to concentrate sun a uh, thousandfold onto a semiconductor chip. It's a triple junction photovoltaic chip that converts then the, the sun into electricity. And because of the high concentration, the power density is very high and we have to cool the chip. Instead of just throwing away the wasted heat, we are using the heat uh, for processes like desalination and adsorption cooling. And the system works uh, with uh, a multi-chip concentrator which is located in the focus of the uh, mirror. And uh, there we have the uh, semiconductor chip and we also have the, the cooler with the, the tubes that uh, are driven by the test station here. So we have a, a chiller that uh, transports the heat away and we have the electrical uh, installations that uh, measure the efficiency of the photovoltaic conversions. So we, we need to be careful with uh, solar radiation because the mirror concentrates the solar radiation thousandfold onto a spot there and the spot has to be on an active cooled surface and if, if there is no active cooled yeah. surface but just an aluminium beam it, it will melt the beam in, in, in seconds. There is a current trend to replace nuclear energy in Europe with uh, alternative energies and uh, sun is the uh, most abundant energy that we have. So it's, uh, uh, we have 85,000 terawatts of uh, energy in, incident on the, on the globe and we only need 15 terawatts. So, so we only need a, a, a fraction of 0.3 or 0.4 percent of the surface of the earth to provide all our energy that we need. And this is a, a means to, to do so. So we want to build solar power stations in unused land in the Sahara, for example, to, uh, to provide uh, in the long term enough energy to replace all the fossil and nuclear energy.